Bonjour. Good morning, everybody, Mr. Madam President. Mr. President, unfortunately, I did not speak French. Sorry for that. It's a big honor to stay here at the 10th anniversary of your inscription into the World Heritage List. In 2008, I was asked by ICAMAS Paris, the official um, um, yeah, organization which is uh, responsible for the um, e evaluation of World Heritage Sites, cultural World Heritage Sites, was asked uh, if I would like to do uh, the technical mission uh, for this uh, Grand Mineur de Wallonie. Um, because, as you know, my French is not very good. I was a little bit astonished. But then I looked into the documentation about it, and it was so interesting for me that I decided I'd try to do it. So I came for the first time in 2009 uh, to these beautiful four sites, visited them, and you may know, I don't know if you know what a technical mission expert has to do. Um, the official nomination is uh, evaluated by uh, experts in, as in a desk review. These experts are not known uh, to the sites, and they uh, are, uh, make the proof of the official nomination files. The only one who sees the site is the technical mission expert. And uh, I'm doing this uh, since several years. It was my first one uh, in 2009 here in, uh, in, uh, in Grand Hornu and Bois de Cazé and, and so on. And, um, and it, I think it was also the first one for your nomination uh, per, uh, stuff. And so uh, we had some problems in the beginning, not because of the language problems, but we both didn't know how to deal with this, how to do it. And um, I learned a lot from uh, the, my first visit, and uh, in, at the second visit in 2011, um, we made it better. Because the problem was, you thought, I'm the one who decides you becoming a World Heritage Site. And this is not uh, the task of the technical mission expert. He has to look for the sites. Uh, uh, its authenticity, its integrity, its borders, uh, the delineation of the borders, buffer zones and uh, core zones, and not to decide if a site becomes a World Heritage Site. This is the task of the desk reviewers and of ICOMOS, of the panel of ICOMOS. So, um, you offered me a lot of uh, friendly people. We went around here with more than 40 people, uh, and uh, this was nearly impossible for me as an expert to look for what I had to do, yes? So, we discussed it, and uh, at least I got some time for myself to walk around and see the sites and get an uh, impression without influence from the outside. And the second time, we both learned from it, and also Icamos Paris learned for, from it, because I told them what happened here in uh, 2009, and they decided to inform all for, uh, uh, following up uh, World Heritage nominations, uh, the state parties, that the, desk, uh, that, uh, the technical mission expert is not the one to decide if they become a World Heritage site. It's not his task to uh, judge about the outstanding universal value. And since that, I have done several other um, technical missions in Norway, uh, Romania, and uh, the Czech Republic last year. So I like this because then this is the only way you can learn about the site, to see the site. If you only read the nomination papers, you get not real impression, for example, from the people. Are they standing behind the nomination? How are they dealing with this site? And this is for me very interesting. This is the reason why I like to do technical missions. You learn about the site, you learn about the people who are managing it, who are running it, who are for it, or maybe also who are against it. This is very important. When I came back in 2011, because my first uh, mission ex, um, report um, has to end with, uh, they have to do something. And I learned yesterday from uh, my colleague here that you started in 2008 with the nomination. We are our own nomination. We are inscribed the All Mountains region in, at the Czech German Czech border. Uh, was inscribed in July 2019 in Baku at the World Heritage Committee's uh, meeting, but we worked for 20 years on this 
site to convince the people of the region that it's a good idea to become a World Heritage Site. You have to do it, as I heard yesterday uh, by Jacques Rue, uh, only one year. This is a very sportive, uh, uh, sporting. And, and uh, I'm now, not, now one, not wondering why we had some problems in 2009. But you solved it in, within two, th uh, two years, and in 2011 you got inscribed after a mission and uh, a, a very positive uh, impression I've got in 2011 here in this region. And um, not only by my uh, report, but also the desk reviewers, they were convinced that now uh, the Grand Mineur de Valigny uh, should be a World Heritage Site. And from here, my congratulation again to this. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And 10 years, it's uh, a long time, but I always say uh, it's uh, one thing to become a World Heritage Site. It's a totally different thing to be a World Heritage Site. You have to fight for it. You have to get money even from the government uh, to preserve your sites and to develop your sites. So again, my congratulations and I will end explaining you why I'm standing here in this uh, suit. Uh, it's uh, the special miners habit or uniform of the All Mountains region, which is... Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, uh, but yeah, then you can, cannot see it. I, I, I changed it like this. It's it's uh, it's a special uh, habit. Miners region. Everyone wears it. In uh, who's concerned with mining, mining history, mining museums, and so on, mining sites in our region. And I I refused for several uh, decades to wear it because. Um, a lot of people are wearing it which never have been in a mine, which has nothing to do uh, with mining, uh, but at least when we get, got inscribed in 2019, uh, they took me away from a press conference and put me into a shop and they bought me this. And so I'm now, uh, you can see it here, a honorary miner of the region. And this is the reason why I wear it today, to honor you and your, your uh, nomination 10 years ago. Thank you very much.